I think it was June last year, I was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoma. It all started with just a sharp pain in my neck that I dismissed. But then after a couple of days of more intensive pain in the chest and back, we rushed to the hospital and realised that there was a massive tumour in between my lungs and that was pressing against my heart. I found, depending on where I was at in the cancer journey, I was feeling different things. At some points through it, I was just depressed because I had no function. I just couldn't do anything at all. No showering, no going to the toilet, no eating, no talking, just nothing. Each year, over 900 Australian children like James are diagnosed with cancer. It's debilitating for the whole family, physically, emotionally, financially. The volunteer-led organisation My Room helped to carry some of these burdens. So My Room has four funding pillars, which are critical to the journey of any child and their family going through cancer. The first one is clinical care positions. Things like a physiotherapist, dietitian, speech therapist, social worker. The second one is medical equipment. Wherever that's needed, we are there to support. Then there's clinical trials and research. And this is absolutely paramount because this is going to help lead us to our goal of that 100% cure rate and family support. I mean, so many families need financial assistance when they're going through this journey. And for my room, we are there as a Samaritan type charity. So the requests will come through a social worker directly to the charity. I mean, it's it's a very, um, very difficult time for these families. And we, we are so happy that we are able to be there in the background supporting them. You never know when cancer's gonna strike. I mean, I was 16. I was relatively healthy, riding my bike twice a day. It's just a random thing. And the next time it happens, it could be your kid. I mean, you'd want to know that the support's going to be there, that your child is going to have access to physios and to occupational therapists, and they're going to be able to eat normally and walk normally and type normally and live normally. Because without those things, life loses its joy in a way. The main message from this is just to raise awareness and funds for communities that support people going through childhood cancer, like My Room, because they know they can trust this charity with the funds. They know that it's going to go directly to the services and it's going to go to kids who need it, like me. Well, Jack, I'm sure you agree with me that anything that involves sick kids really just goes to the heart and I know dealing with the illness is hard enough. The financial pressure that comes with it is just an added layer that families really don't need. Exactly and it's why fundraising is so important. We did mention the Melbourne Marathon earlier and heaps of companies enter with a corporate team to do just that. This year the crew at Chemist Warehouse has put together a run club specifically to help with the My Room charity. I went along on a very bleak Melbourne early morning to cheer on one very inspired team. Mario, you're out here training. Rain, hail or shine, plenty of rain today. Can you tell us what inspired you to start the Chemist Warehouse Run Club? Uh, well, the Run Club really started about a year ago, right in the height of middle of COVID. Melbourne went into that big June lockdown and a couple of the boys started running and we thought, well, uh, if we're going to pick a charity partner, what better partner than my room? We got to know them purely from many of our patients in store and, and some family staff members that have been through the Monash Centre there. And thanks to our sponsors, um, uh, we've raised uh, over about 200 $30,000 already and now we're uh, with the run we've opened up the website to uh, take more fundraising in to get us in the lead up to the marathon so we're hoping to push about $300,000 over the journey. We're hoping to impact as many families as we can and it's not just a money thing this is more about raising awareness of that cancer centre there and the tremendous work that the staff do. I feel really lazy. I've dressed up in my running gear, but I didn't actually run this morning, so you're going to have to convince me to, to join next year. Definitely. No, next week. <laughs> I've got the kit next, ready to go. Yeah, the kit looks very good. Very good indeed. You're, you'll inspire me to give okay. it a go. <laughs> if you spoke to me maybe two years ago or even a year and a half ago about doing competitive running, I would have probably laughed at the idea. We want to support all those people that are going through this sort of trauma, and every dollar counts. So no, no donations too small and no donations too big. Look, it's definitely hard to get out of bed, but when you've got people to come here and do something with, like running, it makes it ten times better and you're not doing, doing it by yourself, freezing cold. <laughs>